be speaking to thee this day, and I say there are many who are feasting on lies. That is, they are feasting on falsehood, feasting on delusion, feasting on lies and loving itself. And I say they are growing fatted and flourishing in the same because they are feasting on lies. But I say that I, the living God, do not call you to feast on lies, to partake of the delusion of these times. For I say there are endless multitudes of those who claim they are mine, who are not serving me. But I say because they have feasted on lies through Babylon's Jesus, grown bloated on the same, then I say that their hearts are full of fatness as a result. And I say they no longer have room for me, nor do they desire me. For I say they have feasted on the delusions of this age, they have feasted on fantasies, they have feasted on lies. And I say they are vainly puffed up in the imagination as to how great they are, how much they deserve. I say they forget the very basic, they were meant to die to themselves, to take up their cross, to follow after me. And I say they have forgotten the way of my truth, my life, that I give to the ones who are truly mine, that they would walk in me. And I say, because they have done these things, I say they are a degradation unto me. And I say, they have denigrated the standard, they have taken up the world and loved it so. And I say, they have filled themselves on abomination of idolatry. And I say, they've gone pouring from me. And I say, they live in perversion day in and day out, because they resist and resent the truth. And I say, they continue to feast on lies, to grow fat on lies, and be deluded in the same. Now I say this day that I the living God will give you the truth that you would indeed walk soberly in me. That is, that you would be thankful to receive the truth, the light, and the mercy of who I am and be guided forth in the way that I give. For I say it is me the living God who does give you the truth and the light upon the path. And it is me the living God who will guide you forth as you will adhere unto me. For I say to me you are given the truth, the light, the mercy, and the hope day by day. And I say to me, you are guided in that which I give you time and again. For I say, it is in me, the living God, that you are given the life and the truth, that you are given the mercy and the strength and the hope day by day. And I say, it is through me that you are directed, corrected, and brought forth. Now I say, this day in a wayward, a perverse, a vile, and evil generation, let it be me that you will look unto. And let it be me, the living God, who will indeed guide you forth in that which I intend for thee. For I say it is me, the living God, who does give to you the truth, the light, the mercy revealed. And it is me, the living God, who does direct, correct, and instruct you day by day. Now I say this day be thankful that I am the one who gives unto you the privilege to be guided forth in me. And I say be thankful that I am the one who gives you the light upon the path. For I say when you will be adhering unto me, believing and trusting in me, then yes, you are guided by me. But I say, when you go a whoring to take up the lies, to take up the delusions, then I say that wrath is the cup that comes to thee. For I say that I the living God am not mocked, and I say that I know the ones who will be true unto me and remain. And I say that the ones who get eyes full of adultery, go a whoring and determined to have their own way, are bringing to themselves the sentence of death. Now I say this day that the truth of it is you are living in times when many have gone a whoring from me. And I say that the truth of it is, you are living in times when I'm bringing my wrath revealed. Now I say, you may say that it is wearing us unto you to hear the truth day after day, that you would indeed prefer to feast on lies. But I say, when you feast on lies, you feast on the very thing that will destroy your soul. And I say, when you feast on lies and grow fatted from the same, then I say, you are totally deluded and led far off from me. And I say, in the end, you will face the desolation, you will face the depression, the despair, and the death of your soul. For I say, you will end in hell forever because you chose to follow lies. For I say that the ones who choose lies above the truth, who choose delusion, who choose the confusion of the saints, are choosing their own despair. And I say, they are choosing to go in a way that I never intended, nor did I provide. And I say, they are choosing to be overwhelmed because their hearts are so far from me. But I say that the ones who will choose the truth, walk in the truth, and be guided in the same, will be thankful to be serving me. Now I say this day, be glad that I've given unto you my life, that I've given unto you my mercy, and the truth of who I am. And I say, be thankful that I do uplift and guide you forth day by day. 
I say be thankful that I will give unto you exactly what you need to be ever kept in me. For I say it is me, the living God, who will keep the ones who adhere unto me, believe me, and trust me day by day. And it is me, the living God, who will guide forth by a plain path any and all who trust in me. Now I say this day be thankful that you do not need to be overwhelmed, overtaken, and devoured. And I say be thankful that you do not need to go in a way that I did not intend for thee. For I say when you are indeed accepting of my way and being guided forth by me, then are you kept each day. And yes, you are given the truth, the light, the blessedness, the strength, and the mercy of who I am. Now I say this day let it be me that you will continue to believe to trust, to obey, and follow after. And let it be me who will be proven to be life unto thee. For I say, when you are coming forth in that which I give you day by day, then yes, you are guided in my way. And I say, when you will accept my direction, my correction, you are kept in the way of truth. I say, this day do not let yourselves grow weary and well-doing by giving way to the suggestion of the wicked one and believing in his lies. For I say you are not meant to be accepting the fact that there is an easier way, which is the way of sin. For I say when men will be accepting of that lie, then I say they are giving themselves unto death. For the wages of sin is death, has always been death, and death remains to welcome the ones who abandon unto sin. And I say not only death in the natural, but death in the spiritual, in the sense that their souls are lost forever in hell. I say this day do not look for the easy way, but look for my way. For I say that the way that I give thee is the straight and narrow way of eternal life. And I say if you will be coming forth ever thankful unto me, then yes, you are guided by me. But I say if you distance yourself from me, go pouring and take up other gods, other lovers, you take up lies. I say this day consider how many there are who claim they are mine, yet I say they are wholeheartedly embracing sin. And I say they are embracing perversion and all manner of cleanness and calling it life. I say they are embracing the very filthiness, the ungodly ways of the heathen and calling them the new way to serve me. But I say it is not me they are serving, I say they are serving lies. I say this day be thankful that I do and God will continue to guide you, direct you, and correct you each day. And I say be thankful that I will give unto you the way wherein you can be kept in me. For I say, if you are accepting and not rejecting of what it is that I give, then yes, you are guided each day by me. And you are given the blessedness, the truth, and the mercy that I do give. I say, this day, be glad to continue believing, trusting, and looking unto me as the one you are meant to serve. And I say, be thankful that each and every day you can be guided forth in the way that I give thee, the way of my life. For I say, when you truly accept the way of life rather than the way of death, then yes, you are guided by me. But I say, when you are accepting of death and receiving the same through lies, you are a fool. I say, this day troop up in the sense that you gird up the loins of your mind. For I say, you are not meant to accept the seeds of deceit nor follow them. Nor are you meant to look back to the vanity of the world and think there was something that could comfort thee. For I say that all of the comforts of the world lead to destruction of soul. And I say when a man will reach out to those creature comforts of this world rather than me, he is reaching for lies. I say this day when you see the ones who have succumbed to their addictions which are nothing but lies, what do you see? I say you see fools who would rather listen to demons than me. For I say when you will accept lies and liars, when you will embrace deceit, you are embracing demons. And I say you are claiming it is better to be ruled by demons than to be ruled by me. Now I say this day be glad that I give to thee the truth, the light, the mercy, and the hope day by day. And I say be thankful that I will uplift and direct you and guide you forth. And I say be thankful that in me you are given the strength to continue day after day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, truth, mercy, strength, and hope provided. And it is me, the living God, who will cause you to know what it is to be kept in my way day after day. Therefore I say, be glad to serve, be glad to obey, be glad to be guided in my way. And I say, be thankful that I am the one who will give you eternal life. I say, be thankful that I am the one who will guide you, direct you, and correct you, for you are mine. For I say, it is me you are meant to believe, to trust, to obey. And I say, it is through me that you will be guided forth in the way that I offer to my own. For I say, it is a joy unto me when a people obey me and keep my dictates, my standard in their lives. 
that is, that they are not taken in the way of lies, but rather they stand for the truth. For I say it is more important that a man keep standing for truth than that he is accepted of the world. For I say, when the world will become your friend, you are my enemy in the same. I say, this day do not seek for fellowship with the ungodly, with the foolish, the vile. And I say, do not seek to put yourself in a way that is far from me. But I say, be seeking for the truth, the light, the mercy, and the strength of who I am. And I say that you will be guided forth, for I will guide you in my life. And I say that I will give unto you exactly what you have need of, if you will adhere unto me. For I say it is a privilege to believe me, to trust me, and obey me, and be brought forth ever guided by me. And I say it is a privilege to know that I am the I am. Now I say you are living in times when you will see many receive devastating blows. That is, you will see them stripped and made bare, you will see them left desolate and howling, you will see them in the parched dry lands of the drought. And I say you will see them in such ways because they have not kept their first estate in me. And I say when you would want to reach out in compassion, remember that I, the living God, am doing my chastening to bring men to repentance unto me. That is, to restore them to complete abandonment to me rather than lies. But I say when any will cling to their lies, then I say they are beaten all the more, for they are found under wrath. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to be subject to wrath, but rather to mercy. And I say if you will love the truth, cleave to the truth, obey the truth, and be willing to stand in the truth, then you are guided in my way. And yes, you are given my light upon the path, for I, the living God, will give you the same. I say this day do not, absolutely do not turn from the truth to take up lives, for to do so is to be ruled by demons. And I say you are not meant to be ruled by demons, but rather to be ruled, to be directed, and be guided by me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the truth and the life provided to my own. And I say if you will walk soberly in me, redeeming the time, then you are brought forth in my way, and able to thank me and praise me each day that I am the I am, that I am the truth, the life, and the mercy revealed. I say thank me and praise me for the privilege to obey and be guided forth in my way, and given the light upon the path rather than the wrath revealed. All of ACMTC's publications are free and postpaid, so you have no excuse except unwillingness or fear of knowing the truth. Do not write or email ACMTC to obtain the wisdom counsel of Jesus Christ right in your own hands to read and pass off to others desperate need of repentance and of warning of God's immediate impending wrath and judgments upon sinners worldwide. We also have three DVDs of these earlier presentations of rare and censured, censured by apostate Christianity, that is, truth, and all Bible subjects, as well as unbelievably correct social, cultural, and political subjects, for you to begin learning and acting upon as soon as possible. Repent for eternal life. Repent for eternal life. Yeah, yeah, yeah.